and welcome. My name is Payal and I will be your host tonight. First of all, I'd like to welcome all of you and thank you for being here, for supporting all of us and especially the kids. I'd like by starting, I'd like to start by saying rather that last few years, like almost three years, right, since 2020, we have faced the pandemic. Things were not easy for us. We were challenged physically, mentally, and not only that, even financially. But we survived, we are really strong. And that needs celebration. And here we are celebrating. And with this celebration, we'll continue. Thank you. Today, as you know, JKM has been celebrating their yearly annual uh, performance, and they name it as Rangoli. I'll ask a question. When I say Rangoli, what comes to your mind? Perfect. I think of Diwali and sweets, trust me. <laughs> but yes, we think of colors, we think of beautiful designs. And when I put in context of dance, I think about that the, you know, the paints, the little colors, they are like the little tools we have, the dance itself, the compositions, the body movements the tal, the rhythm, the instruments. Think about the tools. They are like, I consider them like, you know, how you have the brushes, the sponges that we use for painting. The students are the tools. And who puts them all together? The painter. And here the painters are none but the gurus, the teachers. And when they all come together, they create a beautiful, Col plethora of colors on a canvas, beautiful designs, and that's what's not complete. We celebrate life, we celebrate our, our existence, our culture through Rangoli. Here I have to talk a little bit definitely about Jyoti Kala Mandir. Jyoti Kala Mandir has been in the Bay Area, as a lot of you already know, for over 30 years now. Time flies, right? <laughs> and. It has been nurturing the kids, providing Indian values, cultural values over such a long period of time. But it's not just, in, it just not exists in the Bay Area. It exists, it, it spans not only in the United States, but also I would like to say, and I'm really proud to say this, that its reach is out there around the globe. APA has been teaching kids and even adults, teens, all around the globe. And they are such avid dancers. Another, on the same context, I would like to say that we have a sister uh, organization, which APA created a few years back. And it's the JKM or Jyoti Kala Mandir in Bhuvaneshwar. It's a very noble organization. And why? Because it caters, its primary objective rather is to cater to the underprivileged kids who in normal circumstances might not have, you know, got a chance to explore this culture, this dance. And APA has done that. What a, I cannot think of a better way to give back to the society. <coughs> Please, a big applause for APA here. Today, Rangoli, one thing I should not forget to mention, that today's Rangoli's initiative or the focus is around kids, teens, and budding dancers, who APA has been uh, nurturing for a few years now. And at this point, I would like to also say that you might have, uh, there are some uh, flyers around, and you can see the information that the classes for this semester is going to, or this year is going to start on the 12th of August. And here I'm going to talk about a little bit about, about, about the class, classes. This year, JKM has come back with three 
different classes. One is a regular class that we have for everyone, open to all. And the second one, or the other two that we have, are very special. How many, I would, I'm, and I'm going to ask this question, how many among us, like women among us, would love to go back to classical dances and would again start their you know, journey? I think a lot of them. Thank you. And Abba has opened up that path by having a special class for women. Actually, I'll mention another thing here that, okay, so first thing, we, none of us are growing young, trust me. We are all growing older. And that brings challenges, not only physical challenges, but also, you know, the daily routines are complex. We are getting more and more into our family, family business, our professional life. It's getting more and more complex. Appa is actually helping us from that angle. She's tailoring the need for us. And that's where the women class, this class especially for women, is so tailor-made for the women like us. Please take that advantage. They start on the same day, it's on August 12th. And there's one more surprise. This is almost like a gift from up, I would say. Some of us, irrespective of gender, age, anywhere, any background, want to dance, but maybe not classical dance. So Appa is bringing this opportunity for all of us for a folk dance class. That's really unique. If you think about it, we go for, I mean, we have, like, we do subscribe for Jazzercise, for Pilates. I don't know, so many programs are out there. But I think, like, if I can go into a folk dance class, get my, uh, you know, feet up and start dancing, and maybe it's not too complex, maybe it's just relaxing, maybe it just makes my lifestyle active. Why not take that opportunity? So this is a gift from Appa this year. Again, the classes start at the same time, August 12th. At this point, I would also like to, we just talked about, I was reading actually about something a few days back. <coughs> Mental health, super important. Statistics show that almost 6% of US population has depression and undergo severe depression. Similarly, worldwide, it's the percentage is 4%. We don't talk about it. Because till date, we have some, we have, we have that little taboo somewhere in our mind that we don't want to talk about it. But what can we do? Healthy mind gives you a healthy body. Body and mind has to go together. And that opportunity is is given by our own Oren Bhai, or who lovely, lovingly we also call Gajananda Manichi, <coughs> through his yoga classes and Vedic classes. So he has both yoga classes and a classes for Vedanta and Gita, Gita, or as we say Gita Bhat or Gita reading. And the classes are also online and in his Fremont Center. Please do not miss that opportunity. I would like to really encourage everyone to go and at least tap it, tap at it once time, one time. At this point, we have been talking about JKM, we have been talking about Rangoli. How can we not talk about Guru Jyoti Raut? For that, I would like to invite Shumiti Kesini Desai on stage. She is one of the senior most students and a teacher of JKM, presenting Srimiti Keshi Nisasai. At this point, I would like to also have, please come on stage, and let's applaud for them. One thing I would like to continue saying here that Sumedha Ma, Dr. Anjali Pachanayak, and Sri Surya, Surya Pachanayak, 
If I have to say one line or one word or a phrase about them, they have been the rock of GKM since the inception of it, of time, of GKM's time. And also, I'd, at this point, I would also want to say that we, among us, we have Dr. Nazia Alam, who is, this, I think she's also called the Nightingale of Ori, Ori, Or Orisa, because she has a beautiful voice. You should check out her YouTube videos. Oren Pai, Gajanana Mananji, would you please do the honor? For the meeting, Shravastamam Jeshtarajam Brahmharnam Brahmharnaspata Anashram Bandhu Tibhiseda Sadhanam Om Shri Mahagarnapata Yenamaha Om Bhadrankarne Vishrinuyama Devaha Bhadram Pashye Makshabir Yajatra Stirai Rangai is to Stuvagum Sastanu Kihi Vyashe Madhevahitan Yadayuhu Swastina Indro Vritashrava Swastina Pusha Vishwaveda Swastina Starkshio Arishtanemi Swastin Obrahas Patir Dadhatu Om Shanti 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 Without further delay, we'll start our program tonight. A little housekeeping items. Please, if you have, if you can have your cell phones in vibrate or silent or airplane mode, that will be really beneficial for the kids. Also, if you can avoid going in and out of the auditorium during the performance, that would be great. Our first item is called Jabakusum. It's an ode to Lord Surya who rises in the morning like the hibiscus flowers, flower and eradicates all the negativities around us, presenting 
Jawa Kusum. The dancers tonight are Shivani Desai, Abha Das, Sejal Bani Raut. Yes, you heard it correct. It's she's none but uh, uh, Jyoti Abba's granddaughter. First time on stage. And these kids are actually first time on stage overall. Please welcome. Actually, if you think about it, it's mountain. And when I say Nilachal, it means blue mountain. It's commonly believed that Lord Jagannath lives 
with his brother and sister on the Blue Mountains in Puri. And he blesses all of us from there. Our next item is called Nilachal. Choreography by Guru Jyoti Raut. And the dances are Arshya De Sarkar, Ananya Vamidibati, and Shriya Das, presenting Nilachal. Oh! 
Our next presentation is Pallavi. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome Ai Gurukul and Guru Gayatri Joshi. So Guru Gayatri Joshi is known in Bay Area. She's an accomplished Odissi dancer, founder, director of Ai Gurukul. Her mission is to create successful next generation dancers, also beautiful human being. Also, I have a special relation with Gayatri. I cannot see Guru, I'm sorry. <laughs> she's my dancing sister, and she's been trained under none other than Guru Jyoti Rao. I had the privilege of sharing stage and numerous practice session with her. Always. <laughs> um, our next presentation is Gavati Pallavi, choreographed by Guru jo uh, Gayatri Joshi. Music composition, Guru Swapnishwar Chakravati. And rhythm, Guru Dhaneswar Swain. And dancers, Shriya Elena Patra, Riana Datta, Sharbani Patnaik, and Arushi Patra. Kavati Pallavi. Yeah. 
classical dance is Gotipua. It used to be a dance, it's a form of folk dance actually. It used to be done by boys dressed up as girls and they used to demonstrate a lot of yoga and acrobatics postures. Our next item is called Bondho Nato. Choreography by Guru Jyoti Raut and the dancers are Sakshi Jaju and Pratichi Bhattacharya. Presenting Bondhonato. Thank you. 
Presenting Sajo Konjo Noyana.
As we saw this beautiful dance presentation by Arshia, she actually had her Rang Puja last year. So she is a budding soloist at this time. And I'll take this opportunity also to thank, special thanks to all the personalities today actually we have tonight. We have Guru Niharika Mohanty. We have Vishal Nagarji. We also have Miladri Das. And we also have a very favorite, actually one of my personal favorites, is Ranjita Chakravarti. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to invite on stage Srimati Nilanjana Roy, who has been a teacher and student of Jyoti Kala Mandir for many, many years. And she's going to talk about her experience, actually. Thank you, Payal. Well, I like dance, I like music, I like rhythm, and most importantly, I like kids and the whole JKM family. So combining all this, I do what I like. On every Saturday morning, I just come and like to be with the kids. And my other mission is to make them beautiful human beings with a strong mind. When I say strong mind, the mind which can think 
independently, the mind which is a, has courage, the mind which is resilient, the mind which has perseverance, the mind which is passionate. So when you create all this strong mind, it creates strong body. And strong mind and strong body creates powerful human beings. So that's my mission to create the next generation of powerful young ladies. Whatever they do in life, they could be an academician, they could be dancing, they could be actor, they could be climbing the corporate ladders. So whatever it is, they need to be strong, independent, and be the leaders who will help others. So that's my mission through dance. Um, so having said that, uh, I would like to thank Appa, who has been kind of motivating, encouraging all of us in this JKM family to do what we like. This year has not been that great with me. Uh, my dad passed away, but a lot of good things also happened at the same time. Uh, Jyoti Kalamandir has been like a rock to me, whatever it is, like uh, I pick up phone uh, and call Jyoti Appa, even if she's not here, it could be around late night, it is morning, she's rehearsing over there, and uh, we'll talk. I mean, it, it's more than dance, and that's what I'm telling, I'm trying to share with the students over here, that it's not a teacher and a student relationship, it's more than that. Uh, it's just a family. If you have any issues which you cannot talk to parents or friends, come over. I'm all ears. Uh, normally what happens, I'm also a mom, uh, the daughter, they, they will not speak with their mom. Sometimes it helps when you have another party to share your feelings, whatever it is. Anyway, I won't take much of a time. Uh, just wanted to share uh, my few thoughts and expressions about what I do, what I like over my weekends. Um, so uh, without further ado, we move on to the next presentation, which is a Bharat Natyam presentation. I would like to welcome Sri Tilai Natya Pali Dance School and uh, the brilliant choreographer Sri Devi Jaram. Sri Devi is an active performer of several Bay Area temples, uh, has been in a uh, high profile performance like uh, NABC. Her mission is to promote, dedicate, instill the knowledge of dance and culture to the next generation. Thank you, Srimati Sri Deviji, to share this beautiful art form with us. Uh, their presentation is Nadesa Kautavam, based on Rag Hamsadhani and Adi Talam. This uh, form is performed to offer the prayers to Lord Nadareja, the dancing god, the superior judge of the event. Nadesa Kautavam is very important invocatory item that dancer must perform for the Salangai Puja to get the blessings from Lord Nadar Nadareja. Dancers, uh, Athira Arun, Sagara Vijam, Himasri Sadhu, Sahan Sri Kanan, Nirvi Rai, Akanksha Annesha Joshita, Sanvi and Panguri, uh, presenting Nadesa Kautavam. Thank you.
is Pallavi. Pallavi is a form of like a pure form of Odissi dance where the dancers demonstrate intricate Odissi uh, moves and all of these Pallavis are based on ragas. The Pallavi that we are going to have or be able to see now is based on rag basant and the tal is ek tali, a four bit cycle. Choreography by Guru Jyoti Rao and the dancers are Arshya De Sarkar, Ananya Bami Debati, Shriya Das, Adhyan Shipati, Sahana Bilji and Arshya Ghatak presenting Basant Balavi.
At this point, I would like to invite Mrs. Keshini Desai on stage. She has been a student and, or rather, I should, the way I should say it, she has been associated with Jyoti Kala Mandir for a very, very long time. If I have to say one particular thing about her, personally, I would say that I admire her patience and the way she is so soft-spoken. That's something I have to really learn from her. Presenting Mrs. Keshini Desai. Namaskar everyone. Uh, pranam to all the gurus, the esteemed artists, parents and loved ones. I have written this because if I don't write, um, I break down if I, when I talk about our guru. So uh, it is my honor and privilege to honor her today. Uh, this year marks 30 years since Guru Jyoti Raut migrated to the United States, bringing with her the grace of Lord Jagannath to introduce, propagate, and impart Odyssey to the West. When she first arrived in Berkeley in 1993, Odyssey dance had not even gone beyond Orissa even, let alone the world. She spent the first decade educating, teaching, and performing Odyssey in any platform that welcomed her. She founded and incorporated Jyoti Kala Mandir with a shoestring budget to formally continue her desire to bring peace, joy, and spirituality to her students and her audience. As the second decade rolled on, she had created a company of beautiful dancers with a strong technical and an artistic foundation. She created entire ballets, original compositions, and solidified the concept of Ranga Pravesh or Ranga Puja, which trains and presents a solo dancer as a professional artist. Meanwhile, she was grooming her first generation of students to become dance teachers in, her, in their own rights, some of whom have today established their own schools near and afar. It was the most recent decade that saw Guru Jyoti Raut's vision being transformed to also benefit a new generation of dancers back in her own motherland when she opened JK in India with the financial and understanding support from many of her well-wishers and loved ones, some of whom are in the audience today. If you go to the JK website today, you will read a heartfelt rendition in her own words about how she achieved her dream to provide dance and self-defense scholarships to underprivileged kids from the city where she built her school. As you can imagine, this moment is a culmination of a lifetime of sacrifices and dedication to her passion and mission of spreading her love for her tradition, I'm shaking, <laughs> and culture, and most of all, her devotion to almost three generations of students that she had nurtured, loved, and still care for today in every thread of her being. In my three decades of being in her gracious shadow, I have seen her pioneer the pedagogy of dance, as well as the careful integration and absolute surrender to the music and the musicians of Odyssey, in order to enhance the compositions she continues to create, 60 plus and counting to today. Her presence as a guru, a nurturing mentor, and mother to each and every one of us is evident today and is obvious when I see the many students who have continued to become successful dancers, teachers, and citizens. She has taken creative and bold risks in many ways to uplift and break the traditional gas leanings of this art form. Being one of the first female gurus to first step into being a part of the musical ensemble of an Odyssey performance is one of the many examples I can think of. Today, we are a school of with two generations of trained teachers in both the US and India who are thriving as contributors to our community and society. This is all possible because Jyoti Appa relentlessly pursued her vision while treading deep and unfamiliar waters in the US and abroad. 
It is with great honor and humility I again give my pranams to my guru, our Guru Ma Jyoti Raut. Thank you. The next and the last item tonight is Maghe Sharana. It's a stuti to Goddess Durga, to the Devi. Devi comes in many forms to protect, nurture, and to even destroy. She is Saraswati, the goddess of knowledge. She is Lakshmi, the goddess of prosperity. She is Durga, the goddess of power and strength. And not to mention, she is Kali, the goddess of change and destruction. Tonight, we are going to present this presentation, which is a homage to the Devi. The dancers are Sakshi Jaju, Ashwi Panda, Kavya Ayer, and Pratichi Bhattacharya. Choreography, Guru Jyoti Raut, presenting Mage Sharana. Thank you. 
choreography is that this was the first choreography when Appa came to the United States. Please a big applause for her as I invite her on the stage. Guru Jyoti Raut. Thank you so much, Payal. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Namaskar. I really, really appreciate your presence here this evening. I know Bay Area is very rich and packed with many, many programs all the time. And we have only weekend to attend them, to do them, and to enjoy them, or by pressure, just go to be there. So I really appreciate you being here today. Uh, this evening, and hope you enjoyed it. Um, yes. thank, you. thank you. Thank you. So I will not take very long, and uh, we. That's why we did did very like one hour short program. So then it's not drag on very long. Uh, the thing is that more we, uh, you know, it's our responsibility to promote quality things which connect us to our culture and also beyond culture which connects us with our own self, which bring the respect for the people, respect for self, which brings the values, what we have here. America is so rich with the values. I mean, how much we have here, anything we want, anything we desire is available. We can get it. It's the world, rest of the world is not like that because I constantly travel from here to India and I have a charity school and I teach underprivileged girls there, then I know that to get one jewelry, to have one costume, they will let go of a performance they cannot do even though they are so talented. Even though they are like, you know, practicing day and night, but they can because they cannot afford a costume. But here to buy a silk sari make a costume is $100, right? It's not a big deal. We spend $100 on dinner. So what I'm trying to say that this kind of appreciation and this kind of um, connection that goes beyond our own comfort zone, this kind of thing when you learn music, when you learn dance, when you learn classical, something like that, we connect to the subtleness. We connect to something we cannot touch, we cannot see, we cannot taste, we connect to the, that world. By connecting that, we connect with each other. And we feel comfortable with every creature. And that's a very good way to be, be to exist uh, on the earth, by connecting and feeling one with everything we see, everything we touch, everything where, wherever we go. So that's what the classical art brings us. It brings connection, deep connection. I have many, many people to, to thank. I'm standing here today and I'm experiencing this not alone. I have my family, my yes. husband, Sumedha Ma is here. Many people who have nurtured my students, Gayatri is here. I have learned with everybody, I have grown with everybody to be here where, where I am at now. If you don't appreciate and don't encourage me, then it will be my path will be tougher, tougher to proceed. I have very loving and very supportive life so far. My whatever difficulties I had, I have very much blessing from Lord Jagannath. And today I feel very much gratitude and very much um, blessed because my younger sister's granddaughter is dancing in India. She started when she was three. So she's been learning from five years now and she's getting good. Today, first time, uh, my granddaughter, Sejal, she marked the, her first step to dancing. So we're fortunate to witness that and fortunate to me training them is such a great blessing that I don't have words to express that how I feel and how much gratitude and how much humbleness it brings me to do that, to nurture generation after generation after generation. It's not just my granddaughter, it's Keshini's daughter also is my granddaughter. You know, my next generation granddaughters are coming to stage and I'm nurturing them, teaching them. You know, I can't get old, by the way. If I get old, who is going to teach them? So I'm trying to keep up with them. So I will not take so much time. Now we will felicitate um, the dancers who put so much practice and so much 
time to make this dance wonderful and also choreographers and teachers, gurus who are here. I would like uh, help with Sumedha Ma and Guru Niharika Mohanti and uh, our Sri Vishal um, Naga to please come on stage and, and bless the children, please. Thank you. And I would also add to that, I would like to invite Guru Gayatri Joshi on stage and Sri, Sri Devi Jairam. Ganga, wherever you are, can you please come back on, on backstage, please? You know, now and then, <laughs> now have learned to relax. And when um, they're doing all the things, uh, decoration and this and that, I relax and let them do whatever. If it doesn't go smooth, it doesn't go smooth. If it goes smooth, smooth, I let it be. In India also I'm like that. And they don't want me there neither. Let you relax and come towards the very end. So we have little gifts for kids. And uh, Guru Niharya Mohanti, please come on stage here. Dr. Sumedha Khanna. Sri Vishal. For the next school is I Gurukul Odissi. Oh, please, chair. <laughs> we will uh, honor the Guru. Guru Sri Devi Jairaman, excellent job. Thank you so much for <laughs> participating and joining Jyoti Kala Mandir. And the dancers of Ai Gurukul. Arushi Patra, Rihanna Dutta, Alina Patra, Sherbani Pitnai. Aha! I go look at girls. The Gavati Palladi. And we will honor the Guru, Guru Gayatri Joshi from I Gurukul. I'm so proud to introduce her today because she's taking JKM lineage, the, the legacy to far in the future. So many great dancers is training. And we have Nilanjana Roy, and we have Keshini Desai, also nurturing and giving their time and energy to next generation. Without them, I cannot do it. Because two schools and so many students, I want to acknowledge their dedication, their devotion to Jyoti Kala Mandir and Odissi dance. Now it's time for Jyoti Kala Mandir. Pratichi Bhattacharya. 
साक्षी जाजू काव्या अयर अश्वी पंडा सेजल बाणी राउत आभा दास शिवानी देसाई Now our both our dancers and Pallavi dancers, Arsia Ghatak, Ananya Babidi Pati, Adhyansi Pati, Sriya Das, Sahana Bilgi, Arsia Desarkar. You know, we don't, sometimes here, kids growing up, they're not comfortable with touching feet and getting blessing. So that's something we have to make it very comfortable for them and explain the meaning. So what I do, I make it very casual and I tell them blessing is good, blessing will bring so much courage and I explain very casually, it's not a big deal, then they get, get comfortable with it. They might not understand the power of blessing and power of connection, but kids, if they learn, then in the future they get comfortable. Okay. Now we'll honor the guest and the people who have supported me all along in my life. Sumedha Ma. Thank you, Sumedha Ma. Thank you, ma. Really, really appreciate it. I really want to say thank you. It's so beautiful. And I want to say one more thing. That just watching this beautiful girl and what's going on in India, I decided to double my contribution to your program. Thank you, ma. She's single-handed from the beginning when I'm doing school in India. She's supporting me and saying, okay, what you need, what project you need. I want to bring self-defense course to Bhumnes or at least we start from there because I think that if girls are more confident and girls are more self-independent, uh, then a lot of things will change. That's what I think, that girls will be more, you know, knowing self and more independent and more uh, brave. That's what I think. Guru Nihari Kamanti. Hari School is also one of the best school in the Bay Area. Ranjita, please come. Ranjita, please. Ranjita Chakravarti, please come. Without your stage, is not complete. Please come. <laughs> Chitra Vardhan, who is helping me behind the scene, quietly. She's Arsia's mom, who did so long. You can make out of with her beautiful face. Ranjita Chakravarti, she is a big celebrity. <laughs> the Bali, the Hollywood. <laughs> Sri Vishal Nagar. You want to say something? You want to say something? No, I said your student. My student. I started Odyssey dance actually in her living room. When I came first, um, year 1993, I started my first class, first JKM classes started on Ranjita's living room actually. So she was learning, her daughter Alisa was learning. Sri Vishal Nagar, if you hear his tabla, you are totally will go to another world. Next Rangoli, we will have him play uh, uh, in the Rangoli uh, for us. <laughs> Namaskar. Uh, there has been a lot of beautiful words said, but because she has asked me to say something, I cannot not say it. 
Uh, I'm, she's very, very dear to me, and I'm in tremendous gratitude to Bossy. When we moved here about 10 years ago, uh, she welcomed up me and Devki, and now Shivam, in her family, and that we are very, very thankful for that. I grew up in a dance family. I am son of my mom, is Urbila Nagarji. She's a Kathak artist. So seeing dance, experientially feeling the joy of dance has been a very natural part of growing up for me. I'm saying it from a personal perspective here because what I want to share is it's a very infectious art form and infectious in a very beautiful way because nritya has been defined as like the, you know, in some ways it's a very evolved active meditation state. That's why when we think of Bhagavan Shiv in the Paramavatar, we always think of him as Nataraj. So dance itself is just a very beautiful way of experiencing the fullness of emotion, internally and also depicting externally. These kids are very fortunate. And, I, and I'll say this because uh, I grew up in a dance family, but uh, I play tabla, so I experienced through that. But I also can experience what the joy, and I want to connect one more point here, because one of the most beautiful experiences of seeing Jyoti Appa, whom I affectionately call Masi Ji, is like this tremendous inner childlike joy that she continues to have, that like, like just this pious kind of zeal to actually perform, yeah. and to kind of be there, and to just be in the moment. That, that you can say divine light, you can call it joy, you can call it like this utter, just natural expression which carries through, through her performances and I've, and I've observed it and Nirmal is sitting here and Gina is here and Keshni is here and I'm sure they'll all agree, Nilanjana will agree. A teacher's ability to be able to pass that to their student actually defines them or gives them the true respect of what Guru stands for. Knowledge, content, compositions, tal, all this is like, you know, data. It's just data set that is being passed on. But what actually needs to be passed on is that tremendous infectious joy, enthusiasm, commitment, and beyond everything, like a zeal, and the tenacity to be able to do it by discipline of just doing it. And I think that is what something that I personally value in Jyoti Kalamandir yep. and in her. So, uh, I mean, it, the name Jyoti actually is, is light. So may the divine light continue to bless this institution. Anything that we can do, I, my family, anything I can do musically, I'm always here. I'm tremendously honored and in tremendous gratitude for the Jyoti Kalaf Manda family to accept me. I wish tabla was a conventional drum for Odissi. I would have been even more actively involved. But at some point in the nature of growth and uh, acceptance, I'm sure we'll find ways to collaborate. Thank you again. I'm tremendously honored. Thank you. I will like to um, come here. Keshini from longest time, my very first student in the United States. Think about how she's dealing with me this long. Not easy. I'm telling you, it's not easy. And my husband over there. Oren, can we have you on stage, please? <clears throat> He's dealing with me also, that many years, at home, 24-7. <laughs> and Payal. For your finish, I want to compliment what you said about her dance. Because I think, and I want to pass this message to all her students. This is a dance, just dance, but it's a dance with spiritual, spirituality in it. So when you dance, dance with your spirit. That's what Jyoti has always shown. The dance is a spiritual art. Go inside and 
you said and feel the inner part of you. And that's why I honor what Jyoti has done and Thank you, Thank you. Gajanan, I think you are I want to thank Payal. She's so busy traveling and with her work, so, so busy. Then also she took time to um, host this whole evening and be our voice. And uh, again, it's not easy to deal with me, you know. <laughs> In the beginning, when she was talking and talking, I'm like, is she gonna talk a whole script at once? <laughs> but she said, Apa chill, everything is okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. All the volunteers, we want to thank them. Yeah. So the volunteers, and I'm pretty sure I'll miss one or two here, so my apologies, but it takes a village to basically conduct or make sure that a program is done or a performance is there. So I'd like to call out a certain names. Shruti, Kameshwari, Namika, Swapna, Kalyan on the video. Ramesh and our very own Oren Bhai. Please, a huge applause for them. I personally want to thank everybody. Ganga, really, Sruti, you guys worked so hard, so hard to like put together everything. And anybody, Kalyan, please come. Kalyan, please come. Please come, please come, please come. Without you, it's not going to be complete. Please come. Please come, Kalyan. <coughs> I'm really saying I'm fortunate in all directions, not in one direction. I'm so fortunate because of you guys that anything I need, anything JKM needs, please, Kalyan. Thank you so much. You will see beautiful video. He's every performance, he makes the video and puts it up in the YouTube. Sometimes I get to see it, sometimes I don't know where they are. But anyway. <laughs> But anyway, they're there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Stay back a little bit. We'll take some photos. And uh, have a wonderful, wonderful evening, okay? Till we see you again. Keep smiling.